In today's video, we're going to be building this awesome deep storage shelf that floats. That's kind of interesting. A floating shelf. Yes, you can do this. And it's actually really easy to do. So we're going to be building that today. Um, in the meantime, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down, uh, down below and uh, hit that bell notification icon to get notified about all of our newest videos. In the meantime, let's get building. Okay, the first part of the build, we're just going to go ahead and take our two foot by four foot board and find the general center on it. This will be important later on in the build. So now we're just going to go ahead and cut it straight down the center. And then we're going to go ahead and drill our dowels. A dowel hole jig makes this really easy to do. Now we're going to go ahead and find the center on this board. And then strike a line. Basically we're spacing that out a half inch just to make sure we got plenty of space for the boards. Now we're going to go ahead and take our dowels and just draw a simple line down from the center so that way we know where to drill our next set of dowel holes. And then go back with our doweling jig, just line it up in the center of the hole and drill right on in. Depth isn't really all that important here. Now we're just going to go ahead and use a board in this case a little cutoff that I had that was really straight and draw a straight line from the center of the hole straight through that little half inch area that we just got done drawing. And this will allow us to know where to go and uh, put our drill bit when we go to drill the hole straight through the board. This will let us put in our walnut dowels later on in the process. This is basically what it looks like. Just drill straight through. Again, no worrying about depth. And then a little dry fit just to make sure everything goes into place. Now we're just going to go ahead and measure out and make sure that our widths are the same that we thought they were. And then write that down on your trusty notepad like I have here. Now I'm just going to mark out the depth on that so that way I know where to do the next cut on the table saw. And then strike a line to make sure that we're cutting straight. And we're just going to cut on the waist side of that line to make sure that we've got the exact dimensions we need. If you want this to be a perfect fit. And then since we've got some left over, we'll just go ahead and cut the other part of the divider right now while we're doing those cuts. That way everything's perfectly even. I'm just going to slide these in here to make sure that they fit nice and smooth. And it looks like everything's fitting together just right. So now we're just going to go ahead and drill the dowel holes. Again, we're going to keep with the one-fourth dowel hole and our little doweling jig here. Sorry about the blur on the camera there. We only need a few of these because they're just the internal parts. We did the same trick with the leaving the half-inch mark there so that way we can uh, make sure that we got all of our dowel holes in the right spot and everything lines up. So we're just going to go ahead and put in a, uh, a little big box store dowels that we picked up just to line that up and check and make sure the fit's good. 
And now we're just going to go ahead and do a dry fit of the whole thing. So you can see there's a lot of dry fit in this, but that's because you're using a lot of dowels and the dowels determine where everything goes. So we want to make sure everything will fit together and make sure the build will run smooth. And actually how you put this together is actually kind of important because it'll only pretty much fit together one way. So you're always going to kind of awkwardly put in the second shelf there and then put the sides on. And then the center divider for the top and then the top itself. And now it looks like everything is good and fits together well and is nice and square. So we're just going to go ahead and start doing our glue ups. So the glue up basically works like this. You're just going to go ahead and pretty much squeeze an absurdly large amount of glue into the holes. And then just start moving the dowel side to side, left to right as you push inward. So that way it'll get into the slot and lock in the part. And then we're just going to go ahead and chop off the rest with... Well, in this case, I used the wrong type of saw, but, you know, cut off saw would probably be the best thing to use. This works too, though. And then on the top, you just want to do the front and back, basically, dowel pins first. So that way you keep everything in alignment, so that way it doesn't fall apart on you while you're working on the rest of the pins. And just uh, put the back back on there. That's again about a two by four piece of uh, one by eight plywood birch. And then we're just going to go ahead and iron some veneer on to give it a nice, clean, smooth look all the way around. And since we're going to be staining this, this is actually all wood birch veneer. So that keeps the wood looking nice and consistent. After some sanding, we're just going to go ahead and do some quick staining on this. Give it a nice darker color to kind of match the rest of the furniture in the house. And then a little bit of shellac. Since this isn't really going to have any water on it, that uh, seemed like one of the better finishes. And it dries super fast, so that makes it a nice, easy finish to work with. And yes, you can use a foam brush with it. And it really doesn't leave that many bubbles. Now we're just going to go ahead and attach the feet. This basically is pretty much just glue all the way around on the bottom. And then a little bit of CA glue on the sides to make sure it holds in and some activator. And just press it in place. Obviously we spray painted these black that adds to that floating effect. Then just kind of clean up your mess there if you're perfectionists like us. No one will ever see it, it's on the bottom, but hey, why not just perfect it a little bit? After a few seconds, it sets and it's good to go. Ain't going nowhere. This is basically what the lights look like on the bottom. This is a pretty simple setup here. You're just pretty much sticking them onto the bottom and using the uh, supplied 3M stick'em stuff that's already on there. Now, I'd probably recommend using a little bit of CA glue here just to make sure that they stay in place, but ultimately the 3M stuff does a pretty good job as long as you don't go too crazy with the sanding on the bottom. The rough texture actually seems to make it stick a little bit better. And here's what it looks like when it's all complete. We hope you enjoyed our uh, build video. We had a lot of fun building this, of course, you can imagine. Uh, lots of uh, neat new techniques that uh, we hadn't really done before. Um, as you can see, it's actually pretty easy to put together. You figure it's just a bunch of dowels and wood and you know, slap it together pretty much and make sure you make the right cuts. 
then again, that's all woodworking projects, right? Of course it is. Anyway, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Um, if you didn't like it, well, I guess you could do the other thing, but eh, you know, nobody does that. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, most importantly, because we love you guys and we want to make sure you get more of our videos. And on that note, don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so you actually get our notifications of when we release new videos. In the meantime, happy building!